This is Beach Evening Primrose, and it's related to the primrose that you would find inland. Here's a flower bud starting to open. There's some more developing flower buds. It is edible, it is useful, but the biggest difference that you'll find between these two is the size of the plant and obviously where it grows, but where it grows at is what causes the adaptations this species has compared to what you would find inland in that all of these beach plants, not just this one, have like a waxing co waxy coating to the outside of their leaves and they tend to be way more robust than what you find inland and so my guess and this is just a guess is that that coating on the outside and those thicker more robust leaves are to deal with the corrosive nature of the location that they live in because they're going to get that sea spray they're going to get salt water flooding there's salt in the sand abrasion from the sand so that's why I think this beach even, evening primrose and all the other plants are a little bit more robust. The same type of plant that you find inland, like the sunflower that we see down here is way more robust. And you see the same thing in this beach evening primrose.